Eight. Last night? Yeah, two Yikes. blankets? Ivana. Damn. Oh, it's Pelham. I've but never spoken to Pelham. We can't How's hear Pelham? Pelham. I don't think you're going to speak to her tonight. Oh, oh wait. Can you hear me now? Yes. yes. Oh, thank you to the IT guy who got that <laughs> up and running for us. Yeah. Just kidding. Um, we spoke. How's it going? Good. Do you got, What do you guys do for food? Uh, do you go eat out? Do you meal prep? Have you learned how to cook? Oh yeah. All right. Good I question. cook. Good question. I cook. And lately I've been meal prepping because I'm on a fit. I'm on a path to fitness. I don't meal prep cause I just cook very often. So it's like leftovers get taken to work and then they get eaten. That's meal prep. But I it's don't... not really like, I'm not making Tupperware as a five days a thing. It's just like, I made I cooked a lot on Saturday. I made a made a roast in a slow cooker. I made uh, steak and eggs. Been using my new air fryer. And you had a shit ton left over to eat throughout the week. And no, I, I've got like some leftover that I ate today for lunch, okay. and then it's gone. And like tonight, we're cooking again. All right. I don't really cook or prep much or of anything. I kind of just. I'm just a perpetual snacker. Like, I just, like, I have, like, almonds, and, like, I'll, like, I go into my kitchen, I have, like, some almonds. And He's like I a leave. chipmunk. And then I, really, like, and then when I'm here, it's like, okay, oh, okay, I have a piece of cheese, and then I, like, I, I just never, I don't really have, like, a full meal unless, like, we all go get one or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Huh. Like, yeah, I don't know. I, uh, I live off microwave food. Uh, Costco, good deal. Pizzas, yeah, I do go to Costco. God, I want to teach you how to cook so teriyaki. bad, Frank. Yeah. Hell yeah. In I want to sit Frank down and like. I'm going to have a libtard moment now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Do it. I'm starting. I'm trying to get all of my food and my meat organic, farmed locally and sustainably, which means Ooh. no more supermarket meat. Ooh. All from local butchers. Oh. Damn. All from local San Diego farms oh. and farmers markets. That's hard to do. And expensive yeah. as fuck. Yeah. I, I yeah. just started doing it, and I'm like, I don't know how long I can keep this going. <laughs> Food cut. What chicken is like twenty five fucking dollars? Fuck. Oh damn! What? Yeah, I get a whole pack of breasts for five ninety nine, frozen at Pel Vons. Pelham, what did you say? Sorry about that. What was that? Where do you, Where do you go to buy the meat? Me? Yeah. I had to look up a local butcher here in San Diego who is a sustainably farmed. Farm to butcher, guaranteed butcher, and also uh, farmers markets where the local farmers come out and sell their goods, fruits, vegetables, That's cheese. Cool. You and can talk meat. to them right there at the booth. Yeah, but the it table. is it it is expensive as hell. Yeah. Uh, eating healthy is that's the one shocker that I was not prepared for. Like even not even eating organic or sustainable, but just eating healthier. Yeah, is way more expensive than just sugar and processed shit. Well, yeah, maybe because. If you buy from the supermarket and cook it for yourself, it's cheaper than going out for every meal. Definitely. That's true. It's cheaper than going out. And I still do go out. It's a special occasion, though. It's, like, uh, more enjoyable if I'm not going out to eat every night. Yeah. I hear that. Anybody else want to talk about food? I buy fruit uh, every almost, like, every few days from the grocery store. That's the one thing that sucks. I love going to Costco. Produce. I buy, like, Cheez-Its and fucking Nature Bars, whatever. Yeah. But fruit, you got to go out and leave the house and get fresh shit every Produce, time. you got to yeah. get fresh or it but goes I love bad. It. I love it. Yeah. yeah, I never get that stuff at Costco because I felt like it was in such an amount yeah. that it's gone, it's bad before I get to all of it. So. Yeah. I got some bananas you gotta, today. You got to replace the uh, preserved stuff with the fresh stuff. And then you'll be able to get to all Ooh. of it. There you go. Sticker's still on it, baby. Banana. Love it. I'm like a sewer monkey ball. What about you, Palum? What are you eating? Um, kind of doing a mix of everything. Trying to instant pot what I don't want to cook during the uh, weekday. And then leftover like lunch. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it makes like chicken in 30 minutes. And oh, you can just dump it. Yeah, you can uh, dump it and leave versus like waiting over the stove which yes. can be I'm a fan annoying. of that. I'm I slow cook uh like 3 pounds of chicken breast at the beginning of the week and then oh. have that all throughout the week. That's what I've been doing lately. Nice. I sh it's working out. I showed Crock everyone how to cook a very cooker? special dish on I did a stream on on uh my future probe uh, show landed on Valentine's Day. Oh, I nice. showed out everyone how to make a special Valentine's Day dish. What was, what was it? What was it? What was the dish? I, I said I was going to do that. 
and I had no <laughs> idea or plans. And the only thing in my fridge was was bacon, so I just cooked bacon. You cooked bacon? Yeah. Was but, it good? I mean, yeah, it was great. Did you yeah. cook it in the microwave? No. You know what? I didn't. No. I, oh, I. Oh, a lot of butter. Used a lot of butter. Uh, that was because that was all I had. Uh, I went the to Stove the the butcher, the sustainable butcher, and yeah. he had different kinds of bacon there. He had like beef oh, bacon yeah. and savory pork bacon. Oh yeah, like, I've heard of all that. that which sure I asked him, good. I was like, "What's the best bacon?" And this dude like popped a boner. And yeah, he's like, like, "Oh yeah." If you've <laughs> never had fresh from the farm pork bacon, this is gonna blow your mind. Yeah, and I had it, and I like the supermarket bacon a little bit better. <laughs> really? I'll be honest. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Really? Uh. Maybe I'm just pre-programmed. I do bacon. I should say my girlfriend does bacon in the oven instead of on the stovetop now. Oh, no the kidding. Same, the How same, long does that take? The same pan you would do it on a stovetop, like a griddle or whatever, uh-huh. cast iron pan. We just put the bacon in there and then put it in the oven for like 20 minutes. Oh, uh, okay. And then you can walk away. That's the thing. While we're making eggs, the bacon's in there going. And it comes out fucking perfect. Cool. Yeah. But also, when you're in a pinch, San Diego is great for just going to a carne asada burrito. Yep. Any taco shop with a drive through has a decent carne asada burrito. And I feel like I could, that, if you're going to uh, eat fast, that's as healthy as I can do. It's just, how do you fuck up guacamole, beef, tortilla? It's the tortilla. It's a tortilla, but it's so minimal, the carbs. Yeah. And I can handle some carbs. All right, thanks for your call. Thank Pelham, you. Pelham, uh, are, is all your health under control? Are you healthy? Are you uh, safe? <laughs> uh, my bottom half is fine, but okay. I'm waiting for surgery <laughs> for some other issues. Oh, no. Bottom oh, half. man, now I I feel bad for bringing that up. Is, I hope I hope everything's okay. No, it's good. Okay. I'm with doctors. <laughs> She's going to be fine. Let bo- food be thy medicine. Bottom half is good. Say. How's the left or right quadrant of the top half, or is it a whole top half situation? This whole uh, whole top half. Whole top half. No quadrants involved, so we're just splitting it. Okay. Well, take care of yourself, pal. Yeah, we wish you luck. Hope everything's okay. Have a good one. Get well soon. Okay. You want the to last time she called. That? The last time she called in, we got a lot of information. A lot that's, of. Yeah, that's, I bet. yeah, I wasn't. I'll there. leave it at that.